Hmm. Dear Sim Green, it's been five hours since I was given this work to do and I've still not been able to do anything. Eh. Eh. Mommy wants to show her. I've got to know she means I should be a cray. Eh? What are they also saying? You think it's easy? Yeah, the movie didn't have a number of I think it's all I want to mean. Hey! I need to do something. Yeah, I need yeah, to do chef. something. What dress is this, Shepe? Young lady, if you cannot meet the deadline, just pack your things and leave. Madam, 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 madam. Dress is Shepe. Nonsense. Indeed. Alvin Toffler did not lie when he said that the illiterates of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Yes, what you just witnessed is a typical situation in Ghana where students are not exposed to a hands-on field of science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM education, but only theory in order to memorize to pass exams. The design of Ghana's education system is more theoretical than practical, right from basic school to the university, therefore leaving a big gap between academia and industry. STEM is the building block of the technological advancements we have in the world today. Did you know that since 1990, STEM employment has increased by 79%? McKinsey Global Institute stated that by the year 2030, which is just eight years from now, as many as 800 million jobs will be lost to automation due to advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics. This will definitely, definitely take a drastic toll on everyday working lives. As a country, I ask, are we ready? As an individual, are you prepared for the future? As a young lady, passionate about STEM education. I feel sad when I see students with little or no knowledge about STEM due to the lack of tools and resources to make STEM-related courses easily adopted. But today, I am launching an agenda, one I have dubbed STEM Inc., which seeks to empower students from all gender, ethnicities, and income levels to see STEM not just as a set of school-based ideas that are communicated through lectures and tests, no, but as a fluid and intriguing part of their daily lives, experiences, and activities. STEM Inc. will create a robust inventory of dynamic teaching advancements, interactive learning activities, digital content, real-world concepts and questions that will be accessible by all students in Ghana. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to some of the real-world concepts developed by STEM Inc. Remember that COVID is still in the system. And it is important to wash our hands frequently with soap and water. I have here with me my smart buckets. I do not need to open and close the tap by wasting time. All I have to do is to tap my buckets. Water flows. I wash my hands beautifully. I need some tissue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Drone. Thank you so much, Abby Drone. Thank you so much. Now, I need to dump my tissue. But to to prevent the spread of germs, I do not need to open and close the dustbin. All I have to do with my smart bin right here is to spread my hand like this. It opens. I drop my tissue. Thank you very much, smart bin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my very good friend, my robot doctor, one I affectionately call Dr. Akosia Sewa. Doc, it's been a long time. Uh, smart bin, you don't come for health checkups. So how would you me? I'm so sorry, Doc. I'm sorry. I am here for my prescription, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my doctor who dispenses my drugs. My drug is here. My prescription is ready. Now, Doc, Doc, it is October and it is Breast Cancer Month. Do you have any message on breast cancer for my lovely audience? Dear, have you forgotten early detection saves life? Mom, at its early stage, can be removed and treated, but when it advances, it will be late. Do you have any of your questions? Thank you very much, Doc. Doc says early detection saves lives. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the future of STEM. I'm sure by now you are wondering how all these equipment came about. No, it is not magic. All these prototypes were created from this small box, which contains STEM components with a written document, with a written program to execute its functionality. It is clear that most jobs now 
and in the future will require basic understanding of STEM. Kofi Annan said that any society that fails to tap into the energy and creativity of its youth will be left behind. This is why I humbly call on the Ministry of Communication and Digitalization, the Ministry of Education, government organizations, development partners, private companies and individuals who share in my vision to work with me on this transformational agenda in order to create the Ghana and Africa we want to see. Let us promote STEM Inc. Let us promote STEM inclusion. For every child is a STEM child, every space is a STEM space, the future is STEM and the future is now. Thank you. The gospel of STEM propagated by the one and only Amwani from the Eastern region. Do it one more time for technology, ladies and gentlemen. The future is here. All right. Jadex. And Auntie Linda, I will come to you. Um, Amwani, good to see you all over again. Yeah, thank you so much. Good to see you too. For me, oh. I think the reaction of the audience tells it all. Yeah. And they, I think, I think um, the, the, your delivery started a little bit shaky because I was wondering what they were doing there. But it got exciting when you started making STEM sexy, making STEM attractive. Because one of the hindrances of STEM is that right from the basic school, it is not made attractive enough for the children. We don't have the tools. The teachers are not making it sexy. However, what I was expecting from your submission as well, there are so many organizations already making efforts towards addressing this issue. So I was expecting some collaboration with some of them. One of them, I talked to Professor Kaufman. You know her. Yes, I do. She's crazy about STEM, and she's prepared to mentor you when you launch your project. So well done. I, I think the solution could have been better, but well done. Thank you. Well done, Amwini, from Judge Jeanette. Now moving to Judge Linda. Amwini, congratulations for coming this far. I mean, it's a very good project. Um, however, I feel that it's not just STEM, but the arts also. But it's a good one because definitely there is a lack of that. Um, there's a clear gap between academia and industry. So it's good. Of course, there are other issues related to that. Um, so once we go that route, there's also the risk of downsizing. Because in my company, for instance, if I move this way, I'm going to have to lay off hundreds of people. But that is where the world is heading towards. And we need to prepare. I think ac academia gets the message now. And I think that everybody would support you any way they can to make this a reality. But your doctor refused to speak. Uh, no, or, no, it was speaking, but because it's very far away from you, we couldn't we hear. We couldn't but hear. But I could hear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Give it up for Amwani. The future is here through technology.